Oh, I have really high expectations for this live, so we're gonna see how this goes. All right, I'll oh, be gonna put this on my story too. I'm gonna this shit. Shoot, but not pretty high expectations. This was kind of an unplanned live, so here we go. We're gonna see how this goes. We might just be on for a little bit and then slide off. Yeah, okay, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Okay, I'm taking it. What it do? Oh, damn, I need to go on your lip. I like it. Um, um yeah, y'all, my bad. I didn't realize it had been two weeks since my last live. That's how we're bridge everything between. I don't even want to. I don't even want to get into it. I don't even know how the fuck that happened. That's crazy. But. I'm back, and there's a lot of things for me to talk about because I haven't gone live. There's a lot of stuff that I've got to miss out on that I can now talk about. What in the world is all of this? I ain't never seen all this for no daggone. Instagram changed. It upgraded or something, updated or something, because I don't know what the hell I was doing. I ain't never seen that in my life. Shout out to y'all for being real one, sticking with a real one now. Okay? I appreciate you. Okay? But I don't know how in the world two weeks that we're back. Where does the time go? I don't know. <laughs> Shout out to y'all in the chat. Also, I've been having teeth pain for like a good, probably a week or two now, uh, too, as well, on this side of my mouth. Not fun. Not fun. I probably need to go to the dentist. I'm trying not to go to the dentist because I hate going to doctors, dentists, anything like that. I'd rather just fix it at home. That's why I'm like, I'm doing some oil pill and I got some clove powder. I got some neem tea. I'm like, I'm trying to fix my damn teeth. I'm not trying to go to the dentist. And I hope I ain't gonna get it. Lord Jesus, open that. But I'm trying to do everything I can that if I do go, I'm getting rid of both. I'm gonna, am I doing? My tooth hurt. I can't even hold it. I can't even hold it. But it has gotten better. But it was hurt like a mug a couple of days ago. I've been chewing these little, what are they called? Xylitol. I've been chewing this xylitol gum after all my food, after, after I eat. So, like, you know, because it like breaks down the sugar, or whatever. All I'm saying is, I hate teeth pain. I hate any kind of pain, but teeth, I hate little, like, inconvenient pains. Like, you ever stub your toe or, like, hurt your toe and it hurt for a long time? Or, like, your teeth, like, your, or you like your thumb. Like, I hate inconvenient pain. Like, why my teeth? I gotta eat. I gotta use my mouth. Why my teeth? Oh, I hate that feeling. Okay, it's going away, but, oh, I hate that feeling. It's weird. Anyway, shout out to the chat, though. I did post a, um, a rant today on Instagram and on TikTok and on Twitter. I just didn't post it on YouTube. Um, I kind of just forgot. I don't know why they posted it on here. But if y'all want to see it, go check that out. It's about uh, Kassanat. Kassanat recently went viral because he was like, um, saying that Black Americans ain't had no culture. Same old tether spiel. Um, so yeah, he was over there talking ish about our culture. I had to get on his line. And only I really only got into this line. I had to call him out because he has such a big child following, like a lot of FDA children like him follow him. Um, and so that's that's dangerous territory. You can't be saying shit like that to the kids. Like, okay, they not, these are still black American children. So you talking to them, you telling them that they ain't got no damn culture, I ain't rocking with that. Um, but then even besides that, he's already done a couple things that kind of put a bad taste in my mouth anyways, which I put in the video. I had seen before and I kind of let slide. So I'm like, oh, he young, he might not young. He's still growing. He got some but he mistakes he gonna make. You know, I was letting a lot of shit slide, you know, and, and because I like outside of that, I kind of like what he's doing with other black people. You know, he got his whole little group and all of them streamers and, you know, they coming up. We love to see it. Okay, young black millionaires. But I can't, I can't rock with the, the anti-blackness, the xenophobia. Um, I'm not rocking with that. Okay, that's not a good look. So we had, I had to call that out for him. I had to, I had to, I had to get on his line about that. Okay. But he also going viral for something else right now. What's crazy is he didn't address this black American issue, but he up here uh, going in on this lady, this damn prostitute that's trying to expose him for paying her for not paying for allegedly not paying him, not paying her the right amount of money she, he owed. So I'm like, you could you fighting for your mother life up here. Oh no, just a screenshot. She lied. This nigga, I've seen the video. This nigga buying a domain. He just bought her domain. So when you type in her website. 
the it's like a it's like videos of him that pop up that's exposing what she did to him. You are going this hard over only fans, and you can't come around and do a five minute apology video for this nonsense that you just said. I don't give a fuck about that prostitute. Apologize for that ignorant shit you just said. That's what I need to know. I need to know why you just said what you said. And if you want, if you are apologetic for it, I don't, about only, I don't, I don't care if you slip in, you didn't spend too much money on. I don't care. It is what it is. Okay, the lady, she ain't gonna win that. And they got too much money. This nigga the winner bought her domain. She's not winning. <laughs> She's not winning that situation. Doesn't matter. Okay, it's not happening. Um, but even besides that, I really don't give a damn. What's up with this anti-blackness? That's what I care about. Okay, this little this OnlyFans stuff gonna roll over. It's probably something else gonna happen after that because y'all gotta remember. Let me let me say something about this too. I don't know why some people are so surprised that he was even paying a woman a, a porn star five thousand, ten thousand, have much money for some. Do y'all realize this boy is a little Trinidad Trinidadian Haitian wannabe New Yorker, little short. He got nice his head. He looks nice now. He got a you know nice little locks and stuff like that. But when I do this a few years ago, he had the short locks, he was goofy, little short, scrawny, non-FBA, wanna be Negro. Do you really think women was on his line? I mean, I'm just saying, like, are we really I mean, I really think he was out here getting it before he got popping on YouTube? Doubt it. So yeah, as soon as he got that brain and that money, he went straight to the joints. He probably was lusting over when he didn't have it like that. So yeah, I mean, I'm not. This ain't gonna be the first. It's kind of like DJ Academics. Why do you think DJ Academics got all these women that's yeah, exposing them and he did this and oh he whatever the hell he got a bunch of problem with women too because niggas like that they don't change. Money cannot change a lame ass nigga. It just can't. Money can't change a nigga with no swag. It just can't. Money can't change the fact that you just don't get FBA energy. Damn. It just it don't change the fact that you not and you're not a FBA brother and FBA brothers got a different type of swag. They just got that. They just got it. They born with it. I mean, even the lame FBA Negro still got it more. Like you could tell the lame FBA Negro who may have just grew up around some white boys or in the suburbs or was into like anime or something and a, a non FBA black boy that went through the same thing. It's just it's a different type of energy. That y'all hold. It's it's a lot of men are jealous of it. A lot of men want that. A lot of women are, are attracted to it. You know what I'm saying? But you can't change, even besides that, you can't change money is not gonna change the man. Okay, if you a lame ass thirsty nigga, you gonna be a lame ass thirsty nigga with money. It's just that simple. So yeah, you know, I'm, this probably ain't gonna be the last time he get caught up with a joint. You know, hopefully he. Think a little smarter, you know, because I don't even know how he was messing with that. Joint. Maybe she had bomb ass points. I mean, I don't know nothing about her, but maybe she's good at what she do. But I'm like, damn, she wasn't even that cute. I'm like, damn, man, she looks like she bought 30. I'm like, damn, you couldn't go get a little OnlyFans joint. Hey, they probably would have chosen your ass, but if you would have got a less popular OnlyFans little pretty joint on the internet, like, what the fuck? You know what? He's done. Take my money. Do you, bro? Best of luck. Anyways. But you do need to address, uh, address that black American uh, nonsense, as you said. I'm going to get to that. Uh, get to that. Um, his, his apology is worthless without tangibles. But let's get that apology first. Let's let's get that out the gate first. Let's go ahead and roll that out first before anything else. Okay, let's get let's get the apology out the gate. Um, now, something else I see that's funny as a mother, because I talked about... <laughs> I did a video on J. Cole. Uh, that was my last rant I did. I did a, a rant before the one I just posted that. But I did a, a rant on J. Cole. And um, it was because J. Cole had uh, came out with his debts to Kendrick. And then he apologized. And I was like, no, you know, it's all love, basically. Nigga, please. Okay, I was not feeling that. If you ain't seen a rant, go on Instagram and look at it. <laughs> I was not feeling it. But now Rick Ross has joined... The chaos, okay. So Rick Ross becoming that, uh, becoming that, uh, Aubrey, <laughs> becoming that Drake lately, calling this thing a white boy, and he just dropped this official. I guess this is the official disc. Maybe he only had a clip out before, but he dropped the official, his official disc to him, and this is the cover. I think it's hilarious. I'm not gonna this whole white boy thing. You know what? I don't even like Rick Ross for real. I ain't rock with him. You. This was a good idea. The white boy played. He's talking about this thing got a nose job. 
This nigga got a BBL. It's hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. But see, and I love it because I like I listen to his this. I don't know listen to it once in a car. But for the most part, what I got from that was uh he said, what's his name? First Montana cease and desist. That's why he stopped rocking with him. Uh, he got a BBL on his abs, but in the he's though not a BBL, he was basically saying he got like lipo or something on his abs or whatever, and now it's, it's going away. And he got to get it done again. He said he got his nose done. He said he was, he said, what the hell did he say? He said he was, he said something about his music. Like he was, he said Lil Wayne, he copied his flow or something from Lil Wayne, his style of music from Lil Wayne. And I feel like it was one more other thing. It was one more other thing he said, but. Needless, needless, the point is, I liked it because it brought me back to my original point with J. Cole, which is that, baby, what's wrong with a little friendly competition? Niggas ain't gotta kill people, okay? Everybody gotta die over rat beef. Not to say that that's not a real possibility, it's happened, but niggas ain't gotta die rat beef. We can, hey, look, people, people, we, can, we can have friendly competition. We can have a friendly discourse. You can have some... You know, iron sharpens iron. Have we not heard of that? We got to get iron and iron together, baby. We got to get these niggas shot. Niggas is mad. Let's get real dull out here. So I like the fact that he did it. And it wasn't even on no, like, I'll kill you. I'll shoot you. I'll, I'll pull it up for you. Like, of course, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was maybe one or two bars like that in there. But the overall gist of it wasn't disrespectful enough for this to go to niggas about to be fighting in the club or about to be shooting up each other if they see each other on a at the studio or something. That that's not the feel I got from that. It's the same thing from, from J. Cole's. I can get that feel from J. Cole's or even Kendrick's to be honest. What this feels like is just a fight a bit like the survival of the fittest to get to the top. Who's who's good enough to get to the top? Matter of fact, what's the bruh name? What's bruh name who just dropped something? Bruh just dropped somebody just dropped something today. What's his name? Oh I gotta look at my lights. Somebody just dropped something today. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What's his name? I've seen him before. I'm not like a fan of his stuff or anything like that, but I'm sure I've seen his or her his music before. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Oh, gee. That's crazy. Some dude. What is this? Some dude. What's his name? It's going to blow me. I got to find it. Hold up. Because the name is right there on the top of my tongue. What's his name? Damn. I didn't like it at its comment. I must have just commented on it because it's not in my likes. Is this it? Oh no, this is it. Simba. Simba. I think I feel like he would like TDE or something. Is Simba with TDE? Or is he a West Coast rapper? I don't know. I've heard of him before. I don't know why TDE popped in my head first, but I've heard of him before. Um, but he dropped a disc record towards J. Cole. He basically was like, nigga, what the hell? This is rap. If you ain't going to fight to be the top, baby, you can't be the top. He said, if you ain't going to get hostile, nigga, you can't be the greatest. I agree. I agree, baby. You cannot be at the top and not expect to protect your throne, baby. You got to get a little hostile. You got to get a, you got to get a, a little hostile on them. Just, just a little bit. You ain't got to do too much, but you got to get a little hostile. Um, my bad, y'all. Give me two. Hold up, hold up. Somebody can play very quick. Uh, give me two seconds. Hold up. Shoot, 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 shoot. shoot. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hold on, let me play this right quick. <clears throat> My bad. I gotta make a phone call right quick. I'm sorry. I'm gonna call. I gotta call him back. But I do want to show y'all this video. Shout out to Afro Lee. He's in the chat right now. And um, I did a video with him today. I don't know when he's gonna drop it, but we did a video today. It's supposed to be on his poor cats or whatever. And it's about this new show, Good Times. I don't know if y'all seen it, Good Times on Netflix. But watch this sister review this right quick. Hold up. <clears throat> because I agree with everything she said. But I don't want to, I'm not going to say my, my whole spiel on it. Because um, uh, Afro, we just what you call, call But I'm going to play this for like, not even, I'm probably not going to play the whole thing. I just got to make. 
I tried. I tried to be open minded. I tried to give it a chance. I tried to watch the first couple episodes. I said, you know what? I, I want to have a mind of my own. I don't want to follow group think. You know, I saw the trail and I saw people were saying, stay clear, stay clear. And I didn't want to follow group think, but sometimes the group be thinking. And I should have stayed away from it because I just got a few questions. Why within the first 10 minutes, we find out that the family is living off of spam and onions and the father's favorite food is spam and onions and bacon wrapped corn with Takis and brown liquor. Why did he hop off the shower with his meat out in front of his daughter? What, where did that come from? Why would that even happen? Why is he so unintelligent? Why is there a drug dealing baby who's getting into multiple bang outs with rappers like the baby, little baby and Birdman? Why, why, why is he sucking a pacifier while standing on a corner selling dope? And this is supposed to be one of their kids. This is supposed to be one of the Evans kids. Also, this is one of the kids that the father has put out the house. He's a drug dealing baby that then got put out the house. Appreciate you since you were real one for holding me down. Um, shout out to that. What's her TikTok? Hold up. Let me see. Because she be on point, actually. I've been following her for a little bit. The Queen Poe. The Queen Poe. Show up to her. Um, I don't know if y'all seen that bullshit, that show, uh, Good Times on Netflix. Y'all, when I say I literally watched one episode and that was it, I didn't even want to, I really didn't even want to finish the episode. I'm going to be real because I seen what it was as, immediately <laughs> for the first three minutes, what this was about to be. But I went, I finished the whole episode of y'all. When I tell you, do not watch it, do not watch it. And like, uh, again, shout out to Afro Elite, but because I'll say this on his podcast, but black, black, foundational black Americans. Let me talk to us. Fam, fam, fam. Uncles, aunties, look at me. When we know some shit going to be anti-black, when we know it's really going to be just a, a mess, we know it's going to be some bull, please do not let these other groups gaslight us into thinking that we need to stay open-minded. Okay? Because let's just be honest. As soon as I seen Seth Rogen, I said, oh, this is going to be some bullshit. As soon as I seen the cover art, let me show the cover art. For those of you who ain't seen it, maybe y'all ain't seen it. Let me let me show you the cover art. Well, as soon as I seen the cover art, hold on, wasn't that sister? Wasn't it showing in the back of that sister's uh video? Let me see. What is she showing in the back of her video? Oh no, what's she? I don't know if I can zoom in like that. I'm gonna just Google it. Okay. But as soon as I seen the cover art, as soon as I seen the cover art, I knew it was going to be uh. Nonsense. I already knew it. I already knew this was going to be a debacle of a show. It wasn't about to be anything progressive, anything helpful towards black people. Why in the world can I find that? What you call to this? I knew it wasn't going to be anything uh, profound, okay, or anything uh, better or even near the damn boondocks. Where's the cover to this photo at? Am I tripping? Why can't I find this on here? On oh, Duck Duck. Let me drop it on here. What in the world? Like, that should be the first thing to pop up. It literally just came out. I'm confused. Why this joint? Duck, duck, go, bro. I'm be tripping. Gotta stay on Google. I'm trying to duck, duck, go, and niggas be tripping. By. Um, so yeah, this is the cover art. As soon as I've seen this cover art, hold up, I need a bigger picture. I need the, I need the picture that's gonna show. Come on now, my shit is Ooh. Is this it? Okay. This ain't even the whole cover art. This is it. This is it. But this is not the whole picture. Where's the whole picture? This is long, man. Where's the whole picture? Dang. Google that is stupid, too. Jesus, this is crazy. Oh, this is it. This is the one I need. This is the one right here. Right here. As soon as I seen this, this is it right here. You got a white Jesus. You got little cockroaches right there. You got some pills. It's flooded for some reason. You got the, the baby with a gold pacifier. You got the mother in the, the fake, what is that supposed to be? Some fake uh Dolce and Gabbana, whatever that is. The, the oversized black man with a sandwich in his hand. I said, oh yeah, this is going to be some bullshit. Oh, for sure. Undoubtedly. The only reason why I watched it was so I could review it. That was it. I think that for y'all. For the people. That was the only reason. And I watched it for free. Okay, let me just say that. <laughs> but there was no way in the there is no way in the world we as FBAs should be feeling so hesitant to protest things that we already see clearly is some bullshit. 
y'all, these other groups ain't us. These other black people, it was a lot of non-FBAs that was like, y'all, we need to give it a shot. We need to just give it a chance, y'all. Come on, we been, y'all acting like, and you know, we can't have a good show based on black people in the hood. What you mean? Like, come on, Seth McFarlane. Okay, but Steph Curry's on it. These are other groups. For us, for the most part, most of us that I've seen even say, I'm not watching that shit, or we did watch and they said that was some, no, that wasn't it. That was terrible. It needs to be taken off. It was not really no in between. It wasn't too many of us in between. It was a few of us, more of it. The ones that I said was in between was like me. That was like influencers that wanted to review it. Okay. Or this on YouTube or something, want to review. But for the most part, that I've seen people just talking about it, it's like, nah, I don't think that shit going to be it. I doubt it's going to be it. Or they watched it, was like, yeah, that joint wasn't it. But it was a lot of people from outside of our community that's like, oh, yeah, you have to be open minded. We don't know. I mean, hey, we're going to see. And guess what? It's exactly what we thought it was going to be. So stop. Don't double guess. Don't be hesitant. We know. We already know. These people ain't us. They're not us. I'm sorry. We are different groups. Okay. We got different experiences. And we got, apparently, we got different levels of discernment. So we need to lock into that, lock into ours. And, and, and keep going with that because we we shouldn't even waste our time with this bullshit. We sh this should have been, honestly, we should have had this taken down before it was even released because I just knew it was going to be that bad. I just knew it was going to be that bad. So at this point, it's a, I do hope that they take it down. I think it should be removed from Netflix completely. And honestly, I think Stephen, Stephen, Stephen specifically needs to come out and apologize, number one, because the fact that you're a black man which I was talking to Afro about earlier. I don't even know if he always black or if he always if he's FBA, if he is black, or if he I don't know if both of his parents are black, I don't know if both of his parents like him to say that's what Afro said. I don't know. I don't even see his parents. But I don't know if he's fully black. But I'm gonna say he's black because that's what I know of him as. As a black man with influence, for you to put your name, your face, your brand, and possibly even your money, because he's a producer on the show, for for you to do that. Was such a degenerate, such a uh, egregious way to show our culture for you to sign up for that alongside some of these other black actors and actresses that was with this, which is egregious as well. But you at the forefront, nigga. They name was on your name was okay. So I'm coming for you. You at the forefront. They wrong as hell too. But you and you at the forefront, nigga. You the producer. You at the top. So for you to allow yourself to be attached to this and you know that the only valid way that they was going to be able, really be able to push this onto us was with a black face. They needed some black actors and they needed a black face to, to slap at the front of it. Stephen Curry. So you see Stephen Curry? Oh, damn. Hold on. Stephen Curry? Oh, damn. Let me see. Now I'm at least interested. Why is Steph, Steph Curry? Is he voicing the character? Is he? Oh, damn. I wanna, I'm curious. So you validated their anti-black uh, nonsense. You you validated this. And you helped them push this on us. So, sir, you need to be held. You need to be held accountable for that. He needs to come out with an apology and he needs to come out, hopefully, saying that he's actively trying to get this bullshit removed. I hope so. Because he should be. It shouldn't even be on Netflix no more. He should be doing everything in his power to get, if he can't get it removed, at least get himself removed from it. You shouldn't even want to be attached to a show like that. And I would hope the black actors and actresses see the back show is getting and they don't sign up for another season if it, if it even gets one hopefully it don't but i would hope they at least learn them something from this situation but definitely you need to take action you need to do something brother you got to come out with a man you need to do a little press conference you need to baby you got to be something you got to be because you i'm not talking to the most i ain't talking about mess now i'm just saying we can't sit here and just hope that you had good intentions i don't know you like that i don't know if i'm being pro-black or conscious like that i don't let me know in the comments if you do. But what I'm saying is, it ain't a good look. It's not a good look, bro. It's not. So he needs to come out and you know, roll, roll on out the apology tour or whatever you're going to do, brother. Get it together. This ain't going to work. Brother just said apology don't mean nothing without tangibles. He definitely in a position to, to, to bring some tangibles. You definitely in a position to sign off on this show and sign on to another one that's actually a good representation of the black experience. You're able to do that, Mr. Curry. So I would hope at the very least, that he does that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. It's been like a week or two since the show came out, though. I ain't heard nothing. But we'll see. I think, I think we'll see. I think we'll see. 
but I doubt it. But we're gonna see. <laughs> we'll see. Now let me see. Um, oh, Jonathan Majors was sentenced to a year of counseling in domestic in his domestic violence case. Let me read this right quick. Hold on, can I read this? Is this an article? Read the caption when you're a black man. Everything. This is not a real article, though. This is somebody post I sent myself. Let me see. Did I send another one? Hold up. I'm going to look it up. That's all right. Do I want to look it up? Yeah. I'm like, do I really care that much? Honestly, do I really care that much? I kind of don't. I kind of do, kind of don't. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Um, let me see. Actor Jonathan Majors uh, avoids jail time and uh, domestic violence judge rules. Jonathan Majors, whose promising acting career stalled after the blase, 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 blah, jail is not necessary. Okay. Majors must uh, complete 52 week in person, in person batters intervention program in Los Angeles, continue mental health, mental health counseling, and stay away from the victim. His ex girlfriend, Grace Jabari, said Manhattan criminal judge. Uh, Majors faced a maximum sentence of 364 days in jail. Wow, that, not 365, 364. That's weird. Uh, but the man, but the Manhattan District Attorney's Office did not seek jail time. The state prosecutor, prosecutors said domestic violence uh, programming, along with an order of protection against Jabari, would suffice. Um, he shouldn't even need that. But all right, <clears throat> that's a nice jacket, you know. Uh, this defendant is no longer cloaked with uh, presumption of the with the presumption of in innocence. Uh, despite the jury's verdict, the defendant has still refused to accept any responsibility for his actions. Yeah, because he didn't do anything. The hell, Jabari said in uh, in a victim's impact statement that Majors remains a danger to others. No, the hell, he don't. You do, you crazy ass fucking witch. What's wrong with this white woman? Like Karen, bro, Karen's are really delusional. These white women is scary. Scary. What the fuck these women are? These, these people are crazy. Jabari spoke of extreme physical and emotional pain. She said she sustained both immediately and over the months that followed their uh, March 2023 altercation. When I was uh, with him, I became a different person, different version of myself. I was small, scared. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, Lord. Oh, this article is this fight for the club for the white girl. I ain't read that bullshit. Anyway. <laughs> um, I'm glad he didn't get on jail time, though. Okay, that's what's up. Shout out to the brother. I'm glad he got that good jail time, but now that he got sentenced. I think this whole facade he got with Megan Good might be up. So I don't know. Niggas already said I already seen a post of them talking about because he didn't like they was posing for pictures and it was something about the body language. People was like, "Oh my god, he don't want her. He don't really want her. Da -da -da. She like him more." Um, I think that was a whole. I think that was just a Hollywood uh, cover up. Anyway, it was just a good look for him to be with a black woman while he was going against this white woman. So I don't really think that's gonna last long. I kind of think he might end up with another white joint. Uh, he might be slick with it, end up with like a little, a little white Hispanic or something, you know. She ain't really white, y'all. She's Latina, she's Hispanic, she's not white, guys. I don't really see him going back with a black woman, though. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. Hopefully, he marry her. I don't know, but I don't really see that happening. Let's see, but I don't really think it's real. But the time will tell, though, for sure. Now that the case is over, now time will really tell <clears throat> for sure. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What is this? Mom who killed her boyfriend and infant. Oh, egregious. Oh, yeah. Let me talk about this right quick. See, I forgot about this. This is egregious. This is egregious. Shout out to the brother Raheem Shabazz who booted that post. Is Raheem Shabazz that posted this? Yeah, Raheem Shabazz that posted this. Um, this right here is egregious. I'm just gonna give y'all a, a fair warning. This doesn't in, involve um the deletion of children, domestic violence, etc. It's triggering. Trigger warning is egregious. All right. So apparently, <clears throat> this Los Angeles mom, black woman, she killed her boyfriend and her infant in a murder suicide because she believed the solar eclipse was the epitome of spiritual warfare. All right, this is some this is egregious. Yeah, I'm just warning you right now. It's great. All right, authorities released details about the grizzly uh, the grizzly murder um, suicide. In Los Angeles, in which a woman stabbed her longtime boyfriend to death and pushed her eight-month-old baby onto a freeway before killing herself. The investigation started after Los Angeles police found a nine-year-old sitting next to the body, uh, next, sitting next to the body of her babysitter on a shoulder, on the shoulder of a four. Oh my God, I didn't even read that. On the shoulder of a 405 freeway. Around 4 4:30 a.m. on Monday, according to multiple local reports. Oh, that's so hard. That is egregious. A nine-year-old, the damn baby. The sister was sitting on the side of the highway with the baby. 
the dead. Oh my god, I am so traumatized. God, Jesus Christ, that is hella triggering. That's the greatest. Um, police located the body of the children's mother, Danielle uh, Johnson, 34, about 15 miles away. They determined she crashed into a tree and killed herself. Johnson, who goes by the name of Daniela, a, a Yoki online, identifies as, as an astrologer and a certified Reiki master teacher who is also trained in over 10 different alternative healing uh, modalities. According to her website, Reiki is a Japanese healing technique used for stress, uh, used for the stress reduction and relaxation that involves laying on hands, uh, laying on hands to control unseen life force energy. Oh Lord, that is just oh, that's horrendous. That's that is just horrifying. That's egregious. Couple things first, um, condolences to this young lady's family. Oh my god, I'm sending the, the best prayers, healing energy. Lord, many blessings to that little girl who survived because that is just I mean, I could imagine the trauma. She don't have no damn body. Your mother, your sister, your father, they're gone. That is even with outside family, your immediate family is gone. I, I wish the best for that little girl, man. That's just a hell of ignorance. Okay. Um, so traumatic. It's such a traumatic thing for her to go through. Um, but number two, it's a couple things about this that's kind of interesting. One of them being she was a Ricky, she said she was a uh, what is it, a master Ricky teacher, healer, um, and an astrologer. An astrologer, yeah, and a certified Reiki master. So, a uh, Reiki master store. So, on one hand, we do got to address, because there has been, like, a big trend of Black women that, uh, like, you know, kind of really getting into spirituality as far as, spirituality on the side of, like, witchcraft and, um, uh, you know, using crystals and manifestation and using uh, kind of making spells or like I've been seeing that a lot, um, especially when it comes to like TikTok, when it comes on really TikTok specifically. But I've seen it even across other platforms where it's just there's just a, ra a rise um, in like this kind of spiritual wanting to have the spiritual knowledge within black people in general, really, really, but for black women in this way, okay. Um, especially when it comes to like astrology, a lot of black women get into astrology. It's gotten into, into astrology within the last couple of years, and I don't have a problem with that. You know, I feel like these are all things that God created here, put here for us to use to higher ourselves, to to uh, higher our uh, frequency here. You know, to connect better with Him. So I don't think that's a bad thing to use crystals and you know sage and the, the spells nothing i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing within itself but it can turn bad when you have people that um they kind of want to play creator we're not playing you're not being the god general op, generator operator and destroyer you're playing you're trying to play creator and that's where you get into some of these women and they doing love spells and they putting, you know, they taking people's hair and they try, it's like they're trying to control, all right? You can't do these things and then try to control people or influence people, like, and, you know, try to alter people's free will. That's where a lot of times she get messed up at, okay? Um, that and when people, when some of these women get into... They intertangle it, intertwine it with the conspiracy. And y'all know I keep the, the tenfold bonnet on. But even like this woman who said, oh, well, the eclipse is going to be, it's like the, the basically the sign of the end of times. Like the world is going to end type shit. Even if that was your thought, you should still be in alignment with the most high, with the creator to know that it is not up to you to take damn sure not nobody else's life because of what you feel. So people have to like, and that's that's where shit get real murky, at, okay? Because you cannot force uh an awakening on somebody, you can't force somebody to, to cleanse themselves or to evolve, you can't force these things. So just because you believe, even if you know this is the last sign of the end of times, we got even if you felt like that. That's something you got to take for yourself. So, no, it would have been hella sad that she, she took her life. If she, you know what I'm saying, she committed suicide. That would have been, I'm not saying that that's what I would have wanted. 
But what I'm saying is, had she done that, her child and her husband would still be here. Her child that is still here would have a sibling and a father. You see what I'm saying? And so that is where, it, 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 that's where you get dangerous. That's where it gets real dangerous. We have to, you got to, especially as women, there has to be a level of selflessness. There has to be a level of, I'm coming last. Like this matters more. You know what I'm saying? This matters before my bullshit. And when you get women like this who are already in motion, who may, I'm not going to say she was, because I don't know nothing about this. But I'm saying from some of the sisters I've seen who are already, who already have emotional, like traumatic, depression, you know, anxiety, they already have mental health issues they need, they have to deal with. And then they get into the spiritual things and they think that that's like the, that's healing them. And it may be to a degree, but certain things. It's not just going to work itself out with uh, meditating or with just some say certain things need you have to go into your subconscious. You have to ask yourself questions. You may need to talk to somebody and get, you know, and really work through how some of these things affect you, your behavior and your mentality, because you get wrapped up in this. And now you think you got this feeling like, oh, this is the inner world. when really, it's not the inner world. It's your anxiety. It's your your paranoia. It's your insert whatever mental health issue you know what i'm saying and it's not even taking all of these beautiful lives for something that was not even really the eclipse has happened and we still here you know what i'm saying so it's just it's very sad very sad case to see but i do think it is something that we should take heed from because like i said a lot of us are walking around here unhealed traumatized with all types of mental fucking ish, health issues and then you know what I'm saying? We put on some kente cloth, put a little down on our forehead and get some incense act like, oh yeah, we, we at peace. Nigga, no, you ain't at peace. You still running from the demons, okay? The meditation just helping you out a little bit, but some of this shit gotta be worked out, okay? Um, So yeah, just a, just a real, just a, a, a real, egregious, uh, I said it was egregious before I said it, but you know, very real thing to to, to think about, man, because it's, it's, it's happening. Um, Time to church to Black American reparation. Sons of the Church of Black and American Reparations. <laughs> um, yeah, this story sounds like a mind control or something. Very weird. Black folks don't do shit like this. Yeah, that's what I'm like. It's very like she got like I feel like something else was probably going. This ain't really your average story for a black woman. They, like, we don't really do stuff like this. Murder suicide is crazy. We don't really do shit like that. Um, so that's why I'm like, it's really, I really just wanted to zone in on the spiritual part, the mental health part, because that's something, that's really what the crux of the issue was, you know, but that's very egregious though. So man, condolences to that little girl. That's just so sad. That's just so sad. And I can imagine, imagine riding past the little girl on the highway and saying that. A fucking nine-year-old and a baby. Like that is just, I couldn't even imagine. I can't even imagine that. It's egregious. RIP to OJ Simpson. He passed this week as well. Um... He passed this week, or he passed a little early this week, and he was trending. Of course, you know, you had a lot of white supremacists. You had a lot of non-NBAs going up and down, trying to drag this man through the mud, all right? Um, and then you had a lot of black people, of course, black Americans on code, and we would show up, okay? But this is a thread of some of the Twitter reactions. Let me see. Following his past, social media uh, users share mixed reactions. So RP Juice, uh, the reaction from the old... Oh, this is the reaction from the old... Right. Superior Court of California County of Los Angeles. In the matter of the people of the state of California versus Orenthal James Simpson, case number BA097211. We, the jury in the above entitled action, find the defendant Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of crime. Yeah, this is the reactions from the original uh when, when OJ was uh first announced to be not found not guilty. I think that's hella cool. I would have loved to be alive in that stuff. But look at the energy in the courtroom on the streets. I would just love to be in that energy. It just feel like it would just be a lot of good, like high vibrations. I just feel it looked like they was having it like that was I know the, the party after that was was three lit. I know for sure. Um, but let me see, Jamel Hill, all oh Lord. Jamel Hill said, I'm sure people on this app will be very responsible with the news that OJ says in the that. So yeah, her. Uh, Mark Lemoyce, both of them Negroes. Y'all know how they do. Y'all know how they do. Um, Mark Lemoyce got up here, so he might be up here. He needs to be on this slide. Where he at? Is he up here? Hold on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Mark Lemoyce ass got up here and was like, OJ Simpson is dead. Do not make him a hero or a martyr. 
O.J. Simpson was an abusive liar who abandoned his community long before he killed two people in Globe, Blood, which he was found uh, not guilty of. What the hell are you talking about? Why did you put that on that man's jacket and he ain't got to wear it? He had to wear that on his jacket for years. Why the fuck did you put that on him in death? That's right. His acquittal for murder was the correct and necessary result of a racist criminal legal system, but he's still a monster. Oh, my God. Like, shut your ass up, these cooning-ass Negroes. God. Lemoyes, what the? What are you talking about? I, oh, Lord. I just... Oh, it's like I get it. I get it to a degree, but nigga, this is not the time. Like, this is just so off code. Why? And matter of fact, I don't get it. I can't even say I get it. I don't get it. Nigga, this is just coonish. Because why at the time of this man's death do you feel the need to poke your chest out and say, hey, black people? Yeah, no, we're not going to make him a hero or a martyr. He just, he was a victim of white supremacy, but that's it. We're going to leave it at that. Like, what type of nonsense? You just sound so, you sound like a fucking puppet. You sound like an agent. You sound like, you sound like one of them people, like one of them hall monitors that, that they always like to echo the children, like the, the like the, the, like the, the student kiss ass. The one that's kissed, like, why are you kissing? You don't no ass to kiss right now, Marco Moose. Whose ass are you kissing? Who are you tap dancing for? Because this was just so unnecessary. Nobody was making him a hero. Nobody was making him a martyr. What are we talking? What are we talking? It's kind of people. This is similar to what how how Candace did. What Candace did with George Floyd. Niggas was not making George Floyd a hero. I don't think George Floyd is a hero. What are we talking? I don't even know that man. He did, apparently he did some some pretty unlikable things while he was alive. But that ain't the fucking point. The point is he's a victim of white supremacy. That's the point. Not, oh, yeah, we're not going to make him a hero or a martyr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're just going to, yeah, something unjust happened to him, but that's about it, y'all. He was still an abuser. Like, what type of coonish way of thinking he was a black man who got off, who got off under the system of white supremacy from, and, and got acquitted from being accused of being a killing. I can't even get the sentence together, right? This is just that damn unbelievable. This thing that got off from being accused of killing a white woman as a black man in America with money. This nigga got off. Are you being for real right now? That's the legacy. He got off. These white supremacists really came for him. And this nigga, they couldn't do it. They couldn't get him. They could not get the nigga. To the point where he came out with books and did interviews and Amazing. What? That's insane. Fuck all the rest of the details. That right there is amazing. That's what most black people remind, rem, think of when they think of OJ Simpson. Of course, we know OJ got his bullshit. Hello, uh, Jay Z. I'm that black. I'm OJ. Okay. Nigga, we know. Nigga, we know. Why are you like, who are you to belittle our intelligence to tell us? Hey, just in case, y'all, I just want to make sure y'all not making him no hero. Nigga, nobody said he was a hero. Who said that? Who the fuck? Who said that? Mark, who are you? Whose ass are you kissing? To come check black people when ain't nothing to check. Thank you, boys, Brad. Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ. Let me get off this shit. That, that is reminding me of something else. That is reminding me of something else. Let me go to something. Let me jump over to something else. <laughs> jump over to something. That is reminding me of this, too. That is reminding me of this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where is it at? <clears throat> So y'all know this whole P Diddy thing is, is coming, it's going along, right? Oh, 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 I ain't trying to get copyrighted now. Chill out, chill out, chill out. I mean, she performing it. I might not get copyrighted, but I don't know. <laughs> you have to be careful. Now look at this. Now I know this whole P Diddy is going out. P Diddy has not been, um, <clears throat> you know, found guilty. He hasn't been charged technically. He hasn't even gone to court and all this. You know, stuff is still coming out about P Diddy. All right. Um, but a lot of people have been using the hashtag no diddy. People been saying it as like the little, you know, it's like the new pause or no homo. It's the no diddy thing. And even, yeah, Kefkin is this white girl, white pop singer who's popular, popular in like the early 2000s, early 2010s. Okay, right? Her biggest song was TikTok, the song called TikTok that she performed, which I'm not going to play because I'm not getting that right. All right. Um, now she's up here with the white girl Renee Rapp. She's a singer. She was in the, the latest movie, Mean Girls, the second one or the third one. I think it's the third one. It's a remake of the first one, whatever. 
Um, and she's up here performing with her. At the beginning of her song, she goes, wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Gun necklaces, I'm out the door, I'm finna hit this city. At my mouth, my teeth, with a battle of jazz. And when I leave for the night, I ain't coming back. I said it wasn't on my toes. So I don't know, I'm reading the words. But I used to like that song in high school. I still remember it. I told it was like her biggest song. It was the biggest song probably in the year. It's all the biggest shit. But anyways, first part of the song is wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. All right, she changes it. She performs. This is her at Coachella, and she changes the lyric to "Wake up in the morning feeling like uh, no, no, wake up in the morning, fuck P Diddy." That's what she says. I don't want to play because I ain't trying to pop right. But as you can see, that's the middle finger right there. She was talking about P Diddy. Okay, <laughs> um, new mean girls. Yeah, the the, the the new mean girls. Yeah, I actually like the new mean girls. Who so I ain't gonna hold you. I seen a lot of people not fucking with it, but I don't know. I thought it was kind of like it kind of gave like. Like, I don't know, like one of them cult movies where it's like bad but good. Like, it's kind of, it's, I, and I didn't even think it was bad, but it was like, I don't know, kind of quirky, weird. It's like kind of weird, but it's kind of good. Like, I liked it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to go. I actually enjoyed the fucking movie. I ain't going to go. It was a surprise. But I like the music. I like the what you call it. Of course, they had much shit that I wouldn't rock with, but overall, I thought it was pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was, I thought it was all right. Um, it wasn't too, too. It wasn't. Oh, I didn't think it was like terrible. And the first one was was like, you know, I actually, I actually enjoyed. It. I can I watch that joint again. It was like I watched first. Anyways, but I like musicals. But she says, "Wake up in the morning, fuck P Diddy." Here's my problem. I understand what you're saying. Everybody on this exposed the predator. Oh, shout out, shout out, blah 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 blah. Whatever. We ain't got no goddamn proof on Diddy. We don't know what Diddy did or Diddy didn't do. All right, we literally have no clue yet. All we know is accusations. What Rick Ross say? Accusations. That's all we got. All we got is alleged. We don't really know what none of this shit. We don't know what the proof is. That we don't know. We don't have any hard or no hard proof to prove that he's done anything. We can't prove anything. So with that being said, I would be very, you know, hesitant. I would wait. I will wait just a second before I get up on a public platform like this, Coachella, a big ass platform like this, being a big ass artist that you are, and make a firm stance that it's fuck be diddy. Especially being a white woman. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold that, hold off on that. And I'm gonna tell you why. Number one, this reminds me of what the white woman did with the with the Me Too movement. We was they was going after Bill Cosby. Everybody, Bill Cosby is the worst man in the world. R. Kelly is the worst man in the world, right? Okay. Well, they may have done some bad things. Allegedly. They may have uh, done some bad things. Okay. But what about what about the white man? Why does not wake up in the morning and it's fuck Dan Schneider? Why not wake up in the morning and fuck Dan Schneider? That nigga just had a whole documentary made about him. Three parts. My bad. Five parts. They just came out with the fifth part the other day. Five-part documentary made on Dan Schneider. They got a whole documentary. You got victims, literal victims out in front of the camera like, hey, things were happening to me. This man was involved with, or this man did this to me, or this man was around when while this happened to me. This nigga, if we're going to label anybody guilty, it could be that. It could be him. So shouldn't he wake up in the morning and fuck Dan, Dan Schneider? Why is it fuck P. Diddy? We don't even, you don't even know Diddy. You don't even, like, that's not even your people. That's not even, like, maybe if you was black. And even if you was black, it still wouldn't really be that good of a look because you off code. But you're a white woman saying fuck P. Diddy and you don't even, we don't even know what the hell is going on. We don't even know what's true and what's not. Yeah, I'm going to need for you to change lyrics. You, you ain't going to wake up like P. Diddy, but you can wake up and say fuck. Dan Schneider, you ain't gotta say fuck P. Diddy. Shout out to the brother. Ooh, that just made me think of something. Shout out to this brother right here. Hold up, that just made me think of something. That just made me think of something. Wait a minute. Oh, that just made me think of something. Hold on, let me play this real quick. <clears throat> real quick, right quick. I gotta send this to myself though. Is it on Twitter? Is it on TikTok? I really loved. This video I seen. Here it go, right here. Oh, so Hold up. I read through the little rod lawsuit. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm about to send it to myself so I can play it right quick. <clears throat> Two seconds. Two seconds. My bad, y'all. I should have already sent the video. I thought I did. 
and before I leave, brush my teeth with a bottle of jazz. I want some. I believe she performed on the on one of Dan Schneider's shows. I won't be surprised. But you ain't out here saying fuck that show. Um, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Share up. Thank you, Afro. Doing the right thing. Look at my mind. King Lee, where the hell you at? You ain't seen you say that. What you doing? Uh, Queen E, Mean Girls. Mean Girls was a hit with the first one. Just because you black Americans doesn't mean you got up front. Just because you black American nigga was a hit. Oh, I'm dead. Not because I'm FBA. Not because I'm FBA. That's because I'm black. That's some white people shit. But, <laughs> but still, I don't think it was a hit. Uh, Queen E, Mean Girls. But still, I don't think it was a Oh, matter of fact, hold on. I'm going to open it up here yeah, because. Damn. That's destroying it. What's this? But nah, Mean Girls was my uh, my song. Uh, I mean, yeah, hold up. <laughs> I'm trying to find this video. Trying to find a video. Damn. Oh my gosh. This is blowing. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Instagram. I'm like, why can't I pull this damn video up? This is crazy right now. That just made me think of this video. I got to play this before I get up off here. I'm not trying to copy and paste. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right, I got it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. My bad, y'all. Here we go. Okay, so that just made me think of this, though. Because, like I said, everybody on this, on this P. Diddy, everybody talking about P. Diddy. Did he do this? Did he do that? Did he do that? And the nigga with the documentary, just everybody, he's getting swept under the rug. He's getting swept under the rug, the nigga with the documentary. Hold up. <clears throat> Shout out to this brother, Uncle Murder. He was on, uh, he was on Vlad, okay? And I, I've been saying, Black people, we need to stop going up on Vlad's show. Stop it, please. Immediately. We'll watch this clip, because he was on code. Because... I read through the Little Rod lawsuit against Diddy, and it was crazy. You know what's crazy? Little Rod was Jeremiah. See, man. no, hold up. Oh, really? Stop. You know what that is? Leave, leave. Talk about the white guy from Nickelodeon right quick. Let's talk about that nigga. Let's leave Diddy alone for a minute, Vlad. Leave Let's Diddy talk a... about the nah, white guy. No. Let's talk about the white guy from Nickelodeon. You can't do that because... Let's talk about no, no, that. Look, no. look, we got to stop look, highlighting look, all look. the Diddy shit so No, 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 no. I'm going to tell no, you. Diddy. I'm going to tell you. Talk about the white nigga that been molesting and raping all them little fucking kids, man. I'm Thank not gonna you. We're not gonna talk about, about that nigga. I never. I didn't. I didn't watch the whole documentary. I'm fucked. But of course, Vlad asked them about Diddy because Vlad white supremacist ass don't give a fuck about that shower. He worried about the black man coming down. That's what he's. That's what gets his gears going. Oh, a black man going down. Ooh. Now, see, this is what I mean. We have to pay attention to the intentions. The intentions. This is the same thing that we was talking about with me too. This is the same thing. That's why. What did he come up with? What did uh? Tariq, Tariq came out with them, what was it, them two, I think, at the time? It was like hashtag them two or something like that. But it was like a counter hashtag of me too because the me too hashtag was just focused on black men. And it's like, do you understand that these black men, nigga, we don't even have, black people don't even got power. Do you really think that these black men got that powerful enough to get away with abusing all these women and there was no white men above them doing the same shit? Are we dumb? You have got to be dumb to think that. Like, literally. It doesn't make so it's the same thing with this. Yes, Diddy might have did this. Diddy probably did that. Diddy didn't do that. Whatever. We already know the Diddy will be dealing doing that. Diddy will be doing that. Right. We do that. The focus should not just be on the black man. This white man is no documentary out about him. Why is he not trending? Why is his name not trending? Like Diddy's name. That's intentional. Why is Kesha, why is a white woman who ain't got Diddy squat? To do with the black community. Why the fuck is you up here saying fuck P. Diddy and saying fuck the white man that abused your people's children? And so we have to be, we have to pay attention to the intentions of these people. Everybody ain't doing black out of all people. Come on. Come on. And he's supposed to be a, an interviewer, is supposed to be a fucking neutral. Like, this nigga didn't even know about Dan Schneider. When he, I'm not going to play the whole video somebody get him off it, but he literally, he tells him about this. They have to Google it because the brother next to him never, never even heard of it. And Vlad don't really know nothing about it. He wasn't even going to ask him about it. But shout out to this brother, Uncle Murder, for shifting the focus. Because their focus is on the black man because he's a black man, not because he's a predator. That's what the problem is. They try to cover it up like, oh, no, we're coming after the predators. We're protecting women. We're protecting. No. You're coming after the black man because he's black. And 
this is just a good excuse. This is a valid, valid ass excuse to get away with it. So I'm just saying, be careful. Be careful. Be slow to, to, to join an alliance with some of these white people. If you see white people going just as hard, like, hey, yeah, R. Kelly, F, Bill Cosby, F, P. Diddy, yo, yeah, F all of these black men with power. <laughs> Black, black, uh, uh, fuck all of you black men that's uh, some of the richest men in our community, but some of those influential men in our community just to hell with them because they're predators, y'all. But let's not put too much focus on these white owners, producers, label execs. Let's not put no light on them who's been allowing these brothers to do this for how many odd years now. All right, let me get up off here, y'all. I gotta go. Um. <laughs> Love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all consuming it for a real one. Y'all some real ones for rocking the realest. Make sure y'all subscribe to my Patreon if you want that exclusive content, baby. Make sure you uh like the stream, send me a thanks, uh, uh, uh comment on the video, run it back, all that, all that, all that, because I need that for the algorithm, baby. Algorithm, don't be algorithm design, be algorithm. All right, chill. Shout out to the chat. I appreciate y'all. Marcus Moore, Seven Scales, Queen, Buzzer, Getting the, or no, I ain't messing that up. Um, Clinton, Great Black Shard, Buzzer, Afro, Panther, Derek. I'm going to see y'all on the next one. I got to go. Peace.